yeah thank you friends now uh, after talking about latches let us talk about flip-flops starting you know there are many types of flip-flops there are many types of flip-flops where we have SR flip-flop we have uh, JK flip-flop we have uh, D flip-flop we have master master JK flip-flop so all these are different types of flip-flops but among all those let us see the first one let us see the first one because if you understand the first one the, the rest will be very easy so now friends let us see let us see the first uh, SR flip-flop as I told you the flip-flop is also a latch because we can use the same circuit of a latch as a flip-flop uh, let, 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 let us use uh, this SR NAND latch this SR NAND latch in the previous lecture you have seen it where um, this is a, as a latch remember this an active low latch what we need if you want you can use this as a latch or if you want you can use this as a flip-flop what we will need here is a control signal the control signal to control the latch or to control this NAND latch now to do so we will need additional NAND gates where we will have for example this NAND gate the output will be connected to S another NAND gate the output of the other NAND gate will be connected to R and then from this is where we will have the output the input sorry and from that we will have the input R the reset let us name this G1 G2 G3 and G4 so dear friends to if you can see this is this is the latch this is the SR latch this is the SR latch let's put Q there and Q bar there this is the SR latch now uh, to not confuse, not confusing this R and S, they let us name this S star and R star for not confusing. Now, these two gates, they need that control signal. The control signal will be coupled to G1 and G2. There, we will have that control signal. That is the control signal. We can name it control signal. So this control signal, we can use it to control this circuit. It means you can use it as a latch. You can use it as a flip-flop. How? Uh, let us, even here, we can even describe the, the difference. That difference between latch and the flip-flop. So let us see that difference. The difference between that latch and that flip-flop. So let us use as a latch. If we use it, it as a latch, this control signal will be unable. That is unable. So the unable. The signal now, the signal is unable. So if you unable the circuit, the circuit will function. If you disable the circuit, the circuit will not function. So now, in this case, this control signal as a neighbor, it means the latch can now use the inputs when it is a neighbor. For example, let us take a, a random, a random manable signal, a random manable signal. Let, let me, let me, for example, let me try to draw a random, a random. Just a random, a random, 
enable signal. Let me draw a random enable signal. So now, just this is a random enable signal. It means when it is high, when it is high, that is enable. When it is high, when it is high, the, it means the circuit, when it is enable, the circuit will, will function when it is one, when it is high, when it is high. The circuit will not function when it is uh, low. So it means uh, the enable signal will let the circuit to, to get the inputs and then it can function. That is enable. That is why it is named level, level, level sensitive. It is a level, level sensitive. It is a level sensitive. So while that is different now from the the flip flop. So listen please. When it is a latch, when it is a latch, this control signal is used as a neighbor. You enable, you enable the signal to one, and then the function, the circuit will function. That's why it is level sensitive, level sensitive. But for a flip flop, so what will happen for a flip flop? Normally for a flip flop, this enable signal will be used as a clock. Will be used as a clock. <clears throat> So you can ask, what is a clock now? So a clock it is also a signal. Let me draw this clock here. Let me draw the clock. Let me draw the clock. This is the clock. Okay, so this is the clock. Normally a clock, as we, human, we need a clock for a timing, right? The same thing, the circuit, the flip-flop, will need a timing also to control the circuit. Now, that's the clock. If this is a clock, if this is a clock, normally a clock, it is a signal where its duty cycle is 50%. Uh, from this clock, let us see something from this clock. Uh, we have a zero that is low, zero one, zero one, zero one, or high high, high, low, and so on. So now the, here the different, uh, let us see something here. Uh, let us uh, take this the, uh, up, when you go up from zero to one, that is what we call leading edge. Leading edge or rising edge. So when you are coming from one to zero, that is, falling it is a falling edge that is the falling edge good um, so this falling edge this is the falling edge good so now when it starts falling let us take this falling up falling so this is the period so this is the period t so now from that period t we can say the frequency of this clock it is one over t Good. This is the, the simple clock. Now, I was talking about duty, duty cycle, duty cycle. The duty cycle normally is equal to the ratio. It is a ratio of signal, of the, the, the signal rising, when I put this, rising, I can see the signal rising over, over the total time over the total time. Normally, uh, the, as this is the clock, as this is the clock, it's moving all over the time. So now, if we take, if we take from, from here to the, to the end of the, the clock, let us take this as a T, the total time. That is the total time. Now, if this is a total time, what will be the duty cycle? Will be the signal rising. So it rises how many times? One, two, three. Falling, one, two, three. So half, half, it is half, half. It is T by two. So it is equal to, it is equal to T 
by 2 over total time, over total time, over t. So cancelling t by t, tt, so it remains 1 over 2, which is 50%. So we can say that that is a clock. I was explaining about clock. So now, on our side, on a flip-flop circuit, we will use this clock to control the circuit. Right? So now, we can say, for a latch, we use a neighbor. And the latch is a level sensitive. For a clock, for a flip-flop, we use a clock. We use a clock. And for the clock, for, for the flip-flop, it will be triggered when it is starting rising from zero to one. From the leading edge, from that leading edge, the flip-flop will function. Or will function when it is a falling edge. So that's why we call it edge triggered. It is edge triggered. So it is an edge triggered. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Good. It is an edge triggered. So or it is edge sensitive. It is edge sensitive. It is triggered when it starts rising or when it starts falling. So dear friends, that was the difference between latch and free flow. Well, yeah, we can use the same circuit. We can use the same circuit for a large, even for a free flow. So now, friends, let us now see how this SR will function through this circuit. Good. So let me rubber, let me rubber this. Let me rubber this to see how this will function. See how this will function. So I didn't, uh, I have uh, put the truth table of the Nanda's SR latch. I have put this, this truth, the truth table of this SR latch. Now, if this is a SR latch, the hole, the hole now, the hole, let us take this hole. Let us take this hole, that is the flip-flop. That is the flip-flop. Good. So the hole is a flip-flop, while this is an SR latch. Now, let us start. See how this will function. First of all, let us get, get the output. Let us get the output of G1. Output of G1. The output of G1, it is S star. S star. S star. Good. So now, if this S star, taking into account these inputs, S star will be equal to S bar clock. S, S, and, and, and inverted. So S, S star is equal to S clock inverted. Using De Morgan, it is S bar times clock bar. Wow. So what will happen to R star? R star is equal to R times clock or bar. And then it will be equal to R bar according to De Morgan, R bar. Good. So this is the two functions that will help us to understand the function of this circuit. So now, friends, uh, let us start. If, if, let us start. If the clock, the clock is equal to zero. What if the clock is equal to zero? What will happen to S star and R star? So friends, here you can see that S star, S star will be equal to, uh -huh, will be equal to zero bar, zero bar, which will give as a one. So one times S bar, it will be zero because if S is zero, 
0 bar, it is 1. 1 times 1, it is 1. If there S is 1, 1 bar, it is 0. Right? So, sorry, sorry, here. Sorry, sorry. That is plus. That is plus. Very sorry, very sorry. That is plus. According to De Morgan. Sorry, sorry. According to De Morgan. I'm very sorry. Now, uh, let us come back. Clock is equal to 0. Clock is equal to 0. What is S bar? Bring 0 here. 0 bar. It will be, it will be 1. So, if S is 0, 0 bar, it is 1. 1 plus 1, it is 1. If S is, is equal to 1, 1 bar is equal to 0. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, wherever the, 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 wherever, whenever the, the value of S or the value of R, it will be the same. S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1. It's okay. R star is equal to 1. So now, this will be the inputs. This 1, 1 will be the inputs to the latch. If these are the inputs to latch, what happens when 1, 1 are the inputs? It is a memory. Right? It is a memory. So this is a memory. That is a memory. Regardless, regardless the value of S or R, that is memory. So we, you, we, can, even, we can even start by, 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 by doing this. We can even start by, by the truth table. We can even start by the truth table. Right. Let me find where I draw. I will draw it. Okay, let me rubber this. And I will start drawing that there. S, R, Q, and Q bar. Zero, zero. Remember, we have the clock. We have the clock also at the third input. Normally, we could have eight, eight combinations. We could have eight combinations. But you will see that when the clock is zero, as we have seen, as we have seen here, as we have seen there, when the clock if if clock is equal to zero, we have seen that if, if clock is equal to zero, S star is equal to one, and R star is equal to one. Because replace zero here, when you replace zero here, it will be inverted is equal to one. So when wherever the the, 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 the value of s it will be always equal to 1 plus. Because we have seen a plus 1 is equal to, to 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. So s is equal to 1, s bar, s star, 1, r star, 1. So now, this is, in this case, this case, that is memory. So it means that is memory. It, here, we have seen that. If you replace, you can replace... 0, 1, 1, 0, it's okay, and then uh, when 1, 1, for 0, 0, 0, when the clock is always 0, we will have 1, 1, that is memory, all this is memory, so that's why I will not draw everything because it is a repetition, so I can remain with only the first case, and I write here, I don't care about the value of S and R. I don't care about the value of S and R when the clock is zero. Because when the clock is zero, it becomes one one. And one one, that is memory. Good. So now we will remain with the case if, if, if now the clock is equal to 1. So we remain when the clock is equal to 1. The, the other four cases remaining, the other four cases remaining, when the clock is equal to 1, there we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Good. Now, so there were eight, eight combinations. 
but the first four combinations were removed when the clock is equal to zero because it, it is always memory. Now, if the clock is one and S is equal to, to zero and R is equal to zero, in this case, we are here now. We are here. What will happen to Q and Q bar? Good. So now, replace, take the clock is equal to zero to the, to the function S star. Because we are controlling from there. Now we get the input to the large. Now when the clock is equal to zero, to one, sorry, to one, replace it here. So one bar, it will be zero. So it, it means S star is equal to S bar. R star is equal to R, R, R bar. So here in this case, S, S star is equal to, to S bar and R bar is equal to R R star is equal to R bar. So now this is very important here because um, when the clock is equal to zero, maybe I, I can just uh, wait wait a minute. I can I can come back again. Let us take the, the first condition when if the clock is equal to one. When the clock is equal to one, just now we have seen one bar is equal to zero. So it will remain with the S bar. So S bar, S bar is equal to, S, S star is equal to, to, to S bar. And R star is equal to R bar. Again, so from here now, let us take the case, the case when S is equal to zero and R is equal to zero. What will happen to Q and Q bar? What will happen to Q and Q bar? Good. So just replace this zero to, to, to there and zero there. So we have, we have S star, we have S star equals to one. And R star, equals to one. Oh, so look now one one so one 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 that is memory again so this is the memory again remember what is memory there is no, we will from the previous output we have you can memorize now when one two clock is one s0 r0 that is also in memory you can use it to to keep the memory good now, let us take the case, that is case S0, R0. So what is the case? Let us take the case, case S0, 0, 0 1, uh -huh. R1. So what is S star? What is S star? What will be S star? S star, S bar, that is one, it's okay, that is one, so what is R, R star, R star, take one in R bar, R bar, is zero, so that is zero, good, so what is Q and Q bar, oh, so, sorry, here we didn't mention the, the value of Q and Q bar, sorry, sorry, that is memory. No problem. That is memory. Okay, that is memory. No, no need of, of values. No need of values. That is memory. So in this case, that is memory. Good. Now, uh, on this case, uh, one, zero. So it is here, one, zero. Zero one, zero one. So in the case of zero one, what do we have? Zero one. So we have Q equal to one, Q equal to one, and Q bar equal to zero. Good. So now, what is that? That is set. Wow. That is set. Okay. That is, oh sorry, I put Q equal to one, and Q bar equal to zero. That is set. Good. Um, 
can be long. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, I repeat again. I repeat again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I repeat again. So we have the case S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1. Uh -huh. So come back here. S is equal to 0. So S star is equal to 1. Good. S star is equal to 1. Now, what will be R star? R star come here. R bar. So take one bar. It is coming 0. Good. So what is Q and what is Q bar? So in the case, let us come here. In the case when the input of NAND, of NAND latch, the case of 1, 0. Wow, 1, 0. Good, 1, 0. That's the input of an SR. So it, normally this could be SR and uh, this uh, star. If so, so not different, confuse with this, that one. So it will be, one zero one zero so q is zero and q bar is one uh -huh. so what is that q is zero q bar is one q is zero q bar is one so that is reset so this is zero one so this is reset so the flip-flop is reset good so that was the case now what was this case case when r is equal to when R is when S, the case of S is equal to one and R is equal to zero. Good. So here, S star will be equal to zero and R star will be equal to one. So in that case, Q is equal to what? Come there, zero, one. So in this case, the output Q is equal to one and Q bar is equal to zero good so in this case that is set good so we have one and zero that is the la the flip-flop is set good so now friends uh we remain with the case one one when it is one one huh so one one so where can i write this where can i write this Maybe, okay, you will see it here. You will see it here. Case S is equal to 1, R is equal to 1. Hmm. So what is S, S star? 0, R star? 0. <laughs> S 0, R star 0. So what is that? That is invalid. Wow. That is not not used or invalid so this is the other case not used this is not used or invalid case invalid condition good that is invalid condition or not used so dear friends um this is how an SR flip-flop works and I have tried to give those details possible so that you can understand the functioning. So it will be easier for you for the next uh, Jekyll flip-flop. It will be easier to understand the rest of uh, other flip-flops. So I thank you so much. May God bless you.